Earlier today, the famous rivalry was renewed between the Chico High Panthers and the Pleasant Valley Vikings as they face off in the annual Fishbowl swimming event. Action News Now reporter Blake Mayfield was in attendance and tells us the final results. That's the sound of victory. For the first time in years, the Pleasant Valley Vikings boys bested their crosstown opponent, Chico High Panthers, with a final score of 91 to 79. Last year we came close, and it just feels really satisfying this year to finally get it done. It feels so good. <laughs> it feels really, really good. Our boys worked really, really hard all season, and uh, yeah, it showed. They, they swam awesome. They had a lot of best times, a lot of new section times too, so it was awesome. For the girls, the Chico High Panthers extended their win streak with a 115 to 51 handling over Pleasant Valley. The win is definitely great, one of my favorite parts, but the like team dynamics and seeing both teams come out here with so much spirit, that's definitely my favorite. These girls are on their 11th season of being undefeated, and so this team has kept it going for a long time and it feels very prideful. This year, both teams featured more than 50 swimmers each for their squads. Chico High had 15 seniors swim in their final fishbowl, while Pleasant Valley had 11. Mostly everyone who competed have been doing so against each other for years, something that isn't lost on both teams' coaches. Yeah, losing your voice and uh -huh. being yeah. hyped for these kids swimming so well. Us cheering, and I found myself cheering for Chico High kids because <laughs> I've known them their whole lives and vice yeah. versa. It's yeah. just, it's so exciting. I asked two sophomores who competed in the event what they're looking forward to most about getting two more cracks at the fishbowl in the future. I'm definitely looking forward to winning more and just to continue winning with my team and hopefully get a few records for PV. Definitely coming back, doing the same thing, um, having new people to race against, the incoming freshmen, and just honestly it's a great time, so just the dynamics. Well, after today's fishbowl, both teams will start preparing for the Northern Section Division I Championship and Masters meets later this month.